Hi there. Do you know what is the impact of lack of self-control? A man who does not have self-control, he is not at all a symmetrical and balanced-minded person. His mind can be hunted, invaded by all the worries, anxieties and fret. And all the evil thoughts, greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynicism will be dominantly predominant in his mind. And with his negativity, he will be always boiling himself and ruining every piece of his mind and making his bad blood and he become really not only destructive for himself but he become very painful to the people who are associated with him. These evil souls, wherever they are, they are really the source of all turbulence, disturbance. When I tell you, how many people you know who sober their lives, who ruin all that is sweet and beautiful by their explosive tempers, who destroy their pies of character, make bad blood. Whether it is great majority of people do not ruin their lives, and mar their happiness by lack of self-control. Try to find in your neighborhood. And I have find in my life, wherever I go, I find everywhere the idiots, the ignorant, indolent, thoughtless, useless fellows with groveling thoughts. Yesterday I had taken this bike which is parked near that tree to a service center and this is from Honda company. And the serviceman was so arrogant he was likely to do every nonsense to me, abusing, out of temper shivering and trying to do every nonsense what a bestial character can do. That guy has no self-control. He has no self sense of his responsibility. I went for the free service done. He delayed a lot. And when I questioned him, why are you delaying so much? He lost his balance and he was to do every nonsense what you can accept from a worldly person. That's why I tell you, how many people you find in your life who are really having a very balanced and very equitable character. These people are rare, but they are the people who can really make us very happy. And these people are really getting these attributes of balanced life, tranquil character, their business will improve. Their behavior will be fascinatingly attracted and appreciated by every person. That's why I tell you very fine. If you become strong and you become calm, you will be loved and you will be revered. You will be really inspiration for others and you will never allow your mind to be really dominated by any kind of evil thoughts, dear friends. But I tell you, there are few people you will meet in your life who are really well balanced, who have that exquisite poise that is called serenity. This is the the real climax of the enlightened soul, beloved friends. I'm always belonging to that category. But as being a yogi and adventure man, I cannot keep my head down anywhere. But the mind is without fear and head is held high. That is my attitude. So I'll let you know the bottom line. You'll find everywhere in the society, there are people who have no self-control, and because of that, the ruin, all that is sweet and beautiful by their anger, hatred, greed and jealousy and cynical attitude, who destroy every poise of character and make their bestial blood. Be careful. Save yourself from such people. That's why my best friend, Max Herman wrote in his poem, Desiderata, Avoid loud and aggressive persons, their vexations to the spirit. Simultaneously suggested, as far as practicable, as far as possible, without surrender, try to be in good terms with all persons. And my other great man, the wisest man, George Washington Saw said, if you are not careful to prevent interacting with fools and you fall in the trap of such idiots, they will pull you to their level and they will thrash you. So be careful. Don't try to be 
to be hero before the pack of hounds in the shape of humans. They are the most degenerate people. They have nothing. They have only the intelligence of men working in the reverse gear and they are very destructive. Thank you, viewers. Save your skin from such evils and devil souls. Frequently you will see road rage and wherever you go you will find such kind of idiots in plenty, not few, but extravagantly, predominantly, 80 to 90% of the people are of such category. Thank you, viewers.